Today we'll look into spawning the ranged ally minions, having them shoot a projectile towards an enemy minion or turret. The first three minions we'll spawn will be melee, and the next three will be ranged. If you guys just want the project, you can go to my Patreon and get it there alongside the two MOBA series project files. I'd like to first thank my Patreon supporters, Gary, Samael, Hipmail, Muhammad, and Sabrina. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. Starting off, there are quite a few changes I've added, like calling the minion Melee Minion Prefab, and having the minion combat script set to Minion Melee Combat. You don't have to do these changes, but I do it just so it doesn't confuse me. I duplicated the same prefab minion and call it ranged minion. To tell the difference, I added a small white cube to be the nozzle for when it shoots the projectile. I've also added an empty game object as a spawn point for the projectile. We'll pretty much have the same scripts and components as the melee minion prefab, but instead of the melee combat script, we'll have its own range combat script. We'll get into this later on. Opening up the Visual Studio and looking to the minion AI script, we're going to add a method called face target. What this will do if you're familiar with the MOBA character series, whichever the minion is targeting, whether it be another minion or a tower, will always have the origin facing that direction. The next script we'll make changes on is the minion spawner script. In here, I've separated the move speed variable of the minion into a melee and range move speed. I also included a public game object called range minion prefab and scrolling down to where I call the spawn minion method. Here, I made it so the first three minions that will spawn will be melee and after that, the next three minions will be ranged. You can go ahead and copy these changes. Now onto the actual range combat script. These will be the variables we'll need. A public game object called projectile prefab, a public transform to the projectile spawn point, the floats to the attack range, attack speed, attack cooldown, and their last attack time, a private ball called is attacking, and the script variables for the stats and minion AI script. In the start method, I get the references to the script by doing a get component and setting the attack range to the minion AI.stopping distance and the attack damage to the stats.damage. In the update script, this will cover the auto attack loop. This is done by calling a can attack ball, which will then lead to an attack. In the can attack ball, it's setting the attack to true and false based on if they are within the range of the target. And if they are, it will call the attack method. In this method, it will spawn a projectile prefab and in that prefab, we will also have a script called minion range projectile. We'll be using that script to set the target and deal damage. Back in Unity, I've duplicated the projectile prefab from the tower, changed its color to blue, and created a script called minion range projectile. Opening it in Visual Studio, the variables we need are a private game object called target, a private float called damage, and a public float called speed. I have a public void called set target, which will store the game object and a float which will represent the target and the attack damage. Moving down to the update method, this will handle the projectile flying towards the targeted game object that we've set in the combat script. We'll also have the projectile destroyed once it comes within a certain range of the target. But before we destroy it, we will call a damage function. Scrolling down to the damage target, it's similar to what we did with the melee. If the target is either an enemy minion or turret, we'll get the stats on the target and minus its health based on the damage we put on our ally minion. Back in Unity, we'll go ahead and add the necessary game objects into the script, setting the stopping distance in the minion AI script to 8.5, the projectile prefab having the ranged minion projectile, the spawn point being the empty game object which we had in our ranged minion, and we'll go ahead and set the attack cooldown to 1. For the ranged projectile, I'll set the speed to 10, but you can go ahead and adjust it to what you feel like. When I press play, you'll see that the first 3 minions will spawn, are melee, and the following 3 will be ranged. You can see this by the range difference when they stop to attack the tower. They will also face towards the direction of the tower and shoot a projectile. That is all for this video. If you want the project, you can go ahead by subscribing to my Patreon down below to gain access to the rest of the MOBA project files. If you have any questions, suggestions, or just want to join my community, my Discord will also be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!